and the home where that fire happened has now been demolished along with the homes on either side of it. People who live in the neighborhood have a lot of ideas on what they would like to see happen with what is now that vacant lot along South Stricker Street. WMR 2 News' Aaron McPherson is there for us this morning. So Aaron, what's the latest? Good morning, Christian and Megan. Well, as you mentioned, neighbors do have a lot of ideas. Some saying maybe a park or a recreation center for children, just cleaning up the area a little bit. And the, even though it hasn't been decided quite what is going to happen right here, people are hoping that it will be in honor of those three firefighters who died here nearly a month ago. Lieutenant Paul Buttram, Lieutenant Kelsey Sadler, and firefighter paramedic Kenny Lacayo. They were all working a fire here on South Stricker Street on January 24th when the roof collapsed while they were inside, trapping them. Their fellow firefighters did everything they could to get them out, but all three of them died that day serving the city. A fourth firefighter was trapped, John McMaster. He was the first pulled out of the building, treated at the hospital and released. The vacant building where the fire started was torn down the day of the fire. Now the demolition for the two other buildings, one on each side, started on Monday. Now these were just three of the thousands of vacant buildings in the city. Now one week after that fire, Mayor Brandon Scott directed all city agencies to complete a 30 day internal review of all existing operations, procedures and processes related to issues with vacant properties and city leaders say they're working to make dealing with vacant properties a little easier. The work that we're doing now is really intended to create an environment where those where vacants can move much more quickly, that there aren't barriers to working with our government, that the systems that we use to for residents for those who want to be residents to engage our government to purchase a property to uh, to uh, decommission a property to raise a property that that we make that process smooth. The demolition process here on South Stricker Street is being paid for by the private property owners, which may play a part in the role of whether these areas are sold or donated. The Department of Housing says they still have some work to do. Now, those three buildings have been demolished, but they still need to clean up debris and level out the area and also put up what they're calling a weather wall on the open space of 209 South Stricker Street here since it is exposed right now. So there is still some work to be done before they can move forward. For now, we're live here in Baltimore. Aaron McPherson, WMA. R2 News.